Hello everybody. Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking this Moen Positemp shower valve. It is one that has an opening for a tub spout. I'm only using it as a shower valve. So we're going to be showing you how to take a piece of copper, sweat it in there, cap it up so that your shower tub valve is now only a shower valve. I'll also show you how to sweat on a connection so that you can run PEX from your valve up to your shower head. Let's get to it. Alright, so some of the things we're going to need to do this. You need a clean towel. You're going to need your valve obviously. A piece of copper. You can use any old recycled copper as long as it's the right diameter. Uh, some water soluble flux paste. An acid brush. Some silver solder. Um, this is a wire brush in order to clean out the copper. Um, I use the outer ones and then I use my drill with one of these attached in the drill. It just makes it a little easier. And then I also am going to use a copper cap and some wire mesh. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get this copper really nice and clean. I'll do one side and you'll be able to see the difference between clean copper and dirty copper. If you try to sweat something on with dirty copper, it's going to be a really bad connection and it's probably going to fail on you. So I'm going to use this half inch diameter here. So go ahead, grab some flux. Go ahead, set that aside. Take your cap, put that on. I twist it a little bit just to get flux kind of all the way around. Um, then unwind some solder. Just a good rule of thumb is use about the diameter of your piping. That's about how much solder you should use. So in my case, half inch. I got about a half inch curved at the end there. And now when you heat up your tubing, you want to heat on one side and you want to keep the solder away as you're heating up so that you don't melt the solder with the flame. And then you're just going to tap the solder until you see it start to melt from contact with the metal. Once it starts to melt, you're going to take that flame away and then bring it around. Alright, so you're going to want to heat on one end and then solder on the other. Then, once you're finished, you're going to want to get a clean rag, go ahead and wipe it off. You can wait a second or two for the metal to cool down a little bit. Wipe it off, wipe all the flux off. If you leave extra flux on there, then your fitting will immediately start to oxidize and it'll turn green like the Statue of Liberty. So clean it off real good. And as you can see, it's silvered all the way around. I'm pretty happy with that. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach this to the end of our valve. 